Now for these questions, we're multiplying three numbers together. So we could do 4 times 7, which is 28, and then work out 28 times 9. But with multiplication, order doesn't matter. So we could start by multiplying the larger numbers together first. 9 times 7 is 63, and then we can take that answer, so take 63, and multiply it by the other number in our question. So multiply 63 by 4. 3 times 4 is 12, so 1, 2. And now 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 is 25. So our answer is 252. Now, 4 times 9 times 5. Now we could, like we did here, multiply the larger numbers together first. So 9 times 5 is 45, and then we can take that and multiply it by the 4. 5 times 4 is 20, so 2, 0. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18, so our answer is 180. But we might have got this answer quicker if, instead of multiplying the larger numbers together first, we multiplied the numbers that make a multiple of 10. So 4 times 5 is 20, and because that ends in a 0, it's really easy to multiply that 20 by the other number in our question. So 20 times 9 is 180, because 2 times 9 is 18. Then if we have 1 and 0 in a multiplication question, we have 1 and 0 in the answer. Now, 8 times 7 times 5. We could multiply the larger numbers together first, so 8 times 7 is 56. Then we can work out 56 times 5. 6 times 5 is 30, so 3, 0. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 3 is 28, so our answer is 280. But again, it would have been quicker to spot that 8 times 5 is 40, and 40 ends in a 0. So then it's really easy to multiply that 40 by the other number in our question, so by 7. 4 times 7 is 28, so 40 times 7 is 280. You just multiply 4 by 7, then if there's 1 and 0 in a multiplication question, there will be 1 and 0 in the answer.